Well, CBS3 Summerfest heads to Haddonfield today. Yes, a short distance from Philly, this Camden County city is known for its charming downtown filled with restaurants and shops. But there are plenty of other great spots in the community as well. Indeed, one of those great spots is Haddonfield's Public Library. It was founded in 1803 and goes beyond just a place to pick up the latest page turner. They have some pretty cool programs for residents, too. Hello, good Seeing John William Caruso reading in a library isn't all that unusual. I love what to ride in the car. But seeing him read to a dog in a library, well, that's not something you see every day. Moose put on her brakes. The Read to a Dog program at Haddonfield Library allows kids to boost their confidence. Do you know you got every single word right? Boy, that is impressive. The students and the children who are reading to the dog have a great environment to read in that's not pressured. And his friend Visa seemed to be relaxed too. It's just a heartwarming program. Library director Eric Zeno says the program is just one of the things that makes the Haddonfield Library so popular. They have a 3D printer. If there's a gadget or a doodad that you want to see what it looks like in the real world before you try to you know, mass produce it, uh, we invite you to come here and use our printer to try that out. This summer, they offered stop motion animation classes too. Kids produce these wonderful little videos, very imaginative. The library even offers day passes to area attractions. The Camden Children's Garden, the Battleship uh, New Jersey, and uh, then things for the adults as well. You've got the Sculpture Garden, um, the Morris Arboretum, uh, Natural History Museum. It's a happening place to be in Hanfield. <laughs> Circulation manager Heather Lacey says even gardeners can benefit from paying the library a visit. Okay, so this is our seed catalog, our seed library. Uh, patrons can come in and they can check out seeds just like they would a library book. And I've never that. even heard of such a thing, a seed library. What will they think up next out there? The Haddonfield Library also offers a robotics club for teens, book clubs, and a speaker series. I've just scratched the surface on the interesting things they offer there. The 100-year-old building that now houses the library went through extensive renovations last year. It is well worth a visit. I love that, Jim. That was such a good piece, first of all. Second of all, sometimes you don't even realize what's right under your no. nose. You yeah, know? I mean, when you think, uh, you know, a lot of people don't go to libraries anymore. Right. But this is a destination that cannot be missed. That was a great piece. Thank you very much. Well, the Summerfest fun continues all day long on CBS3. Jessica Dean, she's going to be broadcasting live starting at 5 p.m. along with Kate Bilo and Victoria Whittle. See what makes Haddonfield so special. I'll be right back with Three to Go.